You'll want to evenly heat the screen for no longer than a minute, and you don't want to stay in any one spot for too long. Starting at the top, you'll want to use your suction cup tool to open up a gap for your case opening tool. Then just gently work the screen loose. You want to be careful near the bottom though, as that's where the uh, flex cables are located. Now before you can fully remove the screen, you'll need to pry up the flex cables near the bottom. Use your spudger to gently work them off the front plate. Then you can slide them out as you remove the screen. To start, you want to remove any leftover glue or adhesive on the LCD assembly. If there's any left over, uh, it can cause separation issues. You really want to make sure you remove all of the old adhesive, because like I said, it can really cause some separation issues if you don't. Make sure to be very careful of the corners of the LCD. But once it's clean and your new adhesive is applied to the plate, you can install the screen by first sliding the flex cables through the slot pressing the screen in the place from the bottom up. You'll then want to press the flex cables down against the plate, 